Hey two wheeled friends, welcome back for another shadow day. Got Mrs. Two Wheeled out front. And today I want to talk a little bit about how low do you let your fuel get on your motorcycle. Do you wait for the gas light to come on if you have one? If you don't, do you go by miles? But pulling into the gas station felt it was a good time to talk about it. So let's roll the intro. We'll get Mrs. Two Wheel filled up on gas here. And then we'll talk a little bit more. I almost went to the one that we went to last time that, you know, spurted fuel everywhere. Yes, we will try to do this without leaving gas all over the tank. Why am I buying the gas? Because all I brought was my phone and my driver's license. And then this bo oh my gosh. This you... bothers me how everything's tangled. Oh wow. So here's, here's one tip I do. What do you guys do? Make sure there's no gas in that nozzle. Gas stations probably hate that, but I would rather have it on the ground and evaporate off than being all over the top of the gas tank like happened last time. <laughs> That's why I got this yeah. prepared. So how low do you let your gas get? Do you, like this doesn't have a gas gauge. Do you go, do you kind of go by your miles? which we've been terrible about keeping track. I haven't been filling this bike. I suppose it all depends on how much you ride. You could do like action shots, like cart in, cart out. And go like that. And then you can tip it like that too. Oh. Well, you got enough gas now at least. Oh, good. I could deliver a message to Mrs. Stevie. <laughs> Do you know why? Because she doesn't pump her gas? I think she does now, but oh. but Stevie was always filling oh. it up for her. <laughs> is that how you are? Is it, it's like wife treatment. Is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> Let's go ride. <laughs> Where? Where are we going? Oh, you notice uh, I don't have to put any gas on this bike. Oh, yeah. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice. So how low do you go with your fuel? That is the question and the subject at hand in today's shadow day including this 2019 Road Kings Special. You guys have been getting a little spoiled lately, and someday I'm gonna have to take that away from you. And I say you're getting spoiled because every video lately has been including the shadow and Mrs. Two Wheel. This dual vlog has been fun and exciting and sharing Mrs. Two Wheels journey of learning to ride. So if you are new to the channel, this is the first video you're clicking on, go back, show that gal in front of me some support and watch the previous videos of her beginning to ride. So gas wise, you know, this has just a little under half a tank some people go and fill up at half a tank some wait until the gas light comes on and i imagine sometimes it just depends on if you have a trip planned or not before you get fuel and that's a lot of times with this if i know i'm going to go somewhere and I have a half a tank obviously i'm going to fill up that honda shadow doesn't have a fuel gauge you just got a gas yep and Normally I would clear the trip and when I used to be the one solely riding it, I would kind of fill up after about a hundred miles. It could definitely go more. I don't know what that guy's, he's having fun on a scooter. It could definitely go like 120, 130 miles. 
I have no idea what kind of fuel mileage that gets and that could be kind of thrown into this conversation too of when do you get fuel and do you care about fuel mileage? Frankly, I could care less about what kind of gas mileage I'm getting with the motorcycle. We do, well, I sometimes commute to work on the motorcycle, but I just ride. I, I don't care. When it needs gas, I put gas in it. And I, I generally wait until, you know, around a quarter tank, I will start considering it. But what kind of prompted this subject is the last time we were out riding, Mrs. Two Wheeled kind of had a little bit of a scare thinking that the bike was back to its old issue that we had with it prior to upgrading the, the carburetor and air cleaner. You want to kind of talk about what happened? <laughs> I seriously thought the bike was up to its old shenanigans. 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 I so, think I think we were on our way to to Willie's to grab a burger. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we turn on the the four lane, and all of a sudden the bike starts like chugging, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is the same thing that happened before. And I'm pan I, I I had an ounce of panic, not gonna lie. And then Dustin's like, oh well, it's it, it could be low on gas and. It, so I reserved as much power as I possibly could to get it to the nearest gas station, which thankfully for us was like two blocks away. So it wasn't like we were completely out of the way. Yeah, and unknown to Mrs. Two Wheel, but uh, hey, are you are you riding the brake? Uh-uh. Oh, that, that light seems really bright. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Tap, tap the brake just a little bit. Yeah, the brakes, brake lights on. What? Yeah, brake lights on. Your foot's not against it. Uh. -uh. Cause when you hit the brake, nothing changed. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the brake lights. Oh yeah. It's it's staying solid. Still. Yeah. So you got me behind you now, but we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but anyways, uh, well, see now we got we got a video for future if this doesn't yeah. correct. Uh, right. Yeah. But anyways, I had I had known that the fuel was getting low because I had checked it before we went out, like you should before you ride. <laughs> um, so when it started acting that way, I knew right away what was going on. And there is some fuel in reserve. And Mrs. Two Wheeled could have reached down and flipped the reserve over, and but and, I don't even know where where I would reach to. Yeah, we haven't went through that, yeah. so I just told her to kind of coast up to the stoplight, pull into the next gas station, which they didn't have premium, so we just put a a few bucks worth in, and that, that's why we just went and put some premium in at at that gas station before we went out for a little cruise. So. That's kind of what triggered this conversation of how low do you let it go. And that's the lowest that that bike has ever gotten. I have never had it sputter on me for getting low on gas before. Any bike for that matter, but I, I knew right away what that was doing. Well, I'm glad you had an idea because I, I was worried. Should I You're okay right now. Okay. I just want to see what it does, kind of see if it comes out of it on its own. Oh, sure. Yeah. And like I said, you have me behind you, so I got brake lights. Oh, good. Yeah. So yeah, leave your comment down below of what you do for watching your fuel level. If you, obviously if you have a fuel gauge, you probably watch that. Do you trust it? Do you trust that fuel gauge? especially anyone who has changed the bike performance wise 
do you do you trust its calculation and all that be interested to kind of know that light I think that light got dimmer Did it? yeah it seems like it I don't know just lightly just lightly put your foot on the rear brake yep it flashed okay so it solved it I don't know might have just been a little sticky switch but definitely something I'm gonna have to look at because if one of us do go ride that bike on our own Man. we want to make sure it's it's working properly so so stay tuned for future videos on that and we will see <laughs> and just watch it it won't do it ever again so uh, that's usually how it is right. but yeah leave your comment down below what you do for for filling up and if you really care about gas mileage in my gladiator i do care about gas mileage especially now that i have the bigger wheels and tires on they're a lot heavier a lot more to push through the air so i slow it down a little so i get about the same fuel economy as i did with the stock wheels i just i just don't want to be taking out a loan every time i have to get fuel so And I've experienced that where <laughs> where we got in your vehicle to go eat and it's like really uh, are we gonna make it because we have we are meeting somebody to go eat at a certain time and now uh, we either are gonna run out of gas or we got to stop and get gas and take the time so Naturally, you know pr priorities <laughs> Thanks for watching two-wheeled friends come back on Thursday for another episode on the channel If you are new to the channel and haven't done so yet and like watching motorcycle related content go down and click that subscribe button ring the bell for future uploads and activity and Until next time peace out and we will see you later. Bye bye. We're turning left. This one, I'm coming over a little bit. Oh, I see. Yeah. These, if you go all the way over there, you sit here and you don't hit. <laughs> you don't hit the sensor, so. Okay. Well, I'll be behind you. Blah 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 blah. If you want, you can reach up and shut that camera off. Okay.